the Taklamakan Desert in Tarim Basin. There's sand and heat, but it's no beach. By Duncan, World Cultures. This desert is one of the largest sand deserts in the world. The temperature change is extreme, and there's little to no vegetation. These features make it a journey of almost certain death that few dare to even try. Trading routes surround this barren plain that are lined with important cities and centers of trade. The Silk Road's trading routes almost seem to engulf the Taklamakan Desert and Tarim Basin. No one dares travel through this pl place and risk everything. Despite a much faster trip, it wouldn't be worth it. Although only the bravest souls dared to enter the Taklamakan Desert and Tarim Basin, they have a history of inhabitants that live in large oases along the outskirts of the plain. These inhabitants are a part of communities such as the Kingdom of Karena, which was a part of the Empire of Khotan. These places also served as trading centers along the Silk Roads, where trade between cultures was a daily source of profit. Aquamacan Desert is one of the largest sand deserts in the world. With an area of 123,550 square miles, this large geographic landmark made for an extremely unappealing journey. The average rainfall was 200 millimeters or less, which also made it one of the driest places on Earth. With no water nearby except for the Tarim River, if the heat didn't get you to you, the thirst would. Taklamakan Desert and Tarim Basin not only had a natural defense system from the inside, but they also had it from the outside. The natural borders were extensive, with the Tian Shan Mountains protecting to the north, the Kunlun Mountains protecting to the south, the Pamirs Mountains protecting to the west, and the Lopner Desert protecting to the east. If you actually were able to get in on one side and make it across, you would still have to either climb over a mountain range or venture through another unforgiving desert. Tarim Basin was formed about 800,000 years ago, but remained abandoned for quite a long time. The first inhabitants of the Tarim Basin were part of the Empire of Catan, which flourished in the 3rd and 4th centuries. By the 7th century, all of these people had abandoned this area and left their towns for ruin, only to be engulfed entirely by the hot sand of the Taklamakan Desert. The boom of the Silk Roads, the dangers of the Taklamakan Desert became apparent to almost everyone around the world, and this is the time when it started to be majorly avoided. Taklamakan Desert is located in the Xinjiang region of China, in the northwest of China. It lied along the northeastern part of the Silk Roads, and was surrounded by natural defenses, as well as trading cities. Taklamakan Desert and Tarim Basin started as a glacial sea about 800,000 years ago. When the ice melted, it drained out into the Tarim River and left the barren plain that was so heavily avoided during the time of the Silk Roads. Extreme temperatures ranging from negative 40 to positive 38 degrees Celsius make this place even more dangerous and unappealing to travelers and traders. As inhabitants found their way into this abandoned wasteland, it became a place of civilization and economical advance. Trading became a prominent source of profit. Some of the most commonly traded items were things such as jade and silk. Although due to harsh conditions and extremely scarce amount of vegetation, these trading outposts were eventually abandoned forever, never to come back to trading prominence again.